So imagine calling 911 only to be put on hold. You know, that's exactly what's happening right now here in Marion County. 13 News first exposed this problem two years ago. County leaders saw it and took immediate action, but 13 Investigates has discovered this problem is back. It is tonight's top story. Our senior investigative reporter Bob Siegel tonight is peeling back the layers of this issue, sharing one family story, showing us why the call center is struggling tonight and how long you might have to wait for help. Inside her West Side home, Sarah Evans got a rude awakening. My mom came in and said, it's happening again, it's happening again, and I woke up, what are you talking about? Her father had just collapsed in his bedroom. Eric Evans has a long history of heart problems, and he was now unconscious. From about right here, he had this growling sound, and he wasn't moving. I said, I'm calling an ambulance. Sarah's call to 911 did not go as expected. You have reached 911 emergency dispatch. Do not hang up. Instead of an emergency dispatcher, Sarah got a recording. Stay on the line for the next available dispatcher. What is going on in your mind as you are sitting on hold? That there, there's a good chance that I could lose my dad. Seconds turned into minutes. Remain on the line for the next 911 dispatcher. While Eric Evans lay unconscious inside his home, records obtained by 13 Investigate show it took three minutes and 39 seconds before a dispatcher answered his daughter's call for help. Marion County 911, is anyone experiencing flu-like or COVID-19 symptoms? Where is no, my dad's in the emergency. No one wants to answer your damn phone. The call then had to be transferred to the fire department for an ambulance. Fire and ambulance, what's the address of your emergency? Altogether, four minutes and eight seconds to get through to someone who could dispatch paramedics to help Sarah's father. It felt like more like four hours. I'm still here breathing, you know, that's, that's the main thing. Eric Evans survived to share his story. Paramedics rushed him to a nearby hospital where doctors discovered his heart out of rhythm. He now worries not only about his heart, but also about the response from Marion County 911. Scared the hell out of me. It's not right. Of course, it's not supposed to be this way. Hello, this is 911. Do you have an emergency? Two years ago, 13 investigates exposed a serious emergency inside the county's 911 call center. A severe shortage of dispatchers meant callers waited two, three, even six minutes to get through to 911. That clock on the wall shows the wait time at any given moment. I'm going to send the police over. City and county leaders responded with a pay raise, and that helped attract dozens of new dispatchers. Wait times got much better until... COVID-19 has definitely impacted our staffing here at the 911 center. The commander of the Marion County Emergency Call Center says 23 staff members have resigned or retired since the start of the pandemic. 28 others have had to quarantine at various times over the past few months, and they cannot work from home. Not when you're a 911 dispatcher, no. The technology is not available for any of our dispatchers to work from home. Staffing levels have been so low, some dispatchers are working 16-hour shifts four days in a row. We're doing everything we can in our power to get folks in here. And it's still not enough. Take a look at this. Calls to the 911 center are supposed to be answered within 10 seconds. Marion County was meeting that target early this year. But once COVID-19 hit, the average wait time to get through to 911 doubled. Some months, it nearly tripled up to 25 seconds. And 25 seconds on hold, that is just the average. Many callers wait a lot longer. It felt like it just went on forever. In recent months, nearly 29,000 callers trying to reach Marion County 911 waited on hold at least 60 seconds. Are those wait times acceptable to you? No, they are not. We want to answer calls as soon as that phone rings. We know we are here for one thing, and that is to answer emergency calls and dispatch the police. The Sheriff's Department now has 15 new dispatchers in training. But even when they come on board later this year, the 911 call center will still be understaffed. And despite last year's 10% pay raise, these dispatchers still have some of the lowest 911 salaries in the state. A starting dispatcher in Marion County now earns $35,000 a year. 
In nearby counties, nearly all starting dispatchers make more, in some cases a lot more, for handling far fewer calls. So hiring new dispatchers is hard. Keeping them is even harder. I didn't know that they paid them that, that little to do that much work. The Evans family says they sympathize with the challenges facing the 911 call center, but they say those challenges need to be fixed and fast. For me and a lot of people, this literally could kill somebody. If you call 911 and you get a recording, do not hang up. That's just going to delay help even longer. The Sheriff's Department wants you to know it's hiring 911 dispatchers right now. If you're interested and you want to apply, we've got a link to do that at WTHR.com.